Benedict, can you take me back to just last night and your emotions as you hear your name called and realize that your dream's coming true? Um, it was great. You know, I feel like my dream, my dream came true. Um, just to, just to, to, to hear my name getting called uh, by Adam Silver was, was, was a movie. To have your family there, what did that mean to you to, to share that moment with them? It meant everything, to be honest. You know, all my life, just putting in work and uh, having the opportunity for my mom, sister, and the rest of my family to be, to be around and support me was, was, was great. When you found out that it was the Pacers specifically, how excited were you to come to Indiana? I was really excited, you know, because my workout was great. Um, I love the facility and um, just the, uh, the city in general, the fans, and uh, just to be a person, for sure. There's been a lot of talk already about that workout and you asking to come back to the gym that night and work with head coach Rick Carlisle. Yeah. Why did you want to do that and what was that experience like? It was actually because uh, I was supposed to do a drill, uh, the three-point drill, uh, shooting 20 out of 25. And I missed it. You know, I was really, I was really pissed about about missing it. And uh, I felt like I, sh I shouldn't leave Indiana without without doing it. So I called, I called, um, I called someone and I asked him if I could come back in the gym. And uh, you know, Coach Rick texted me and said he was coming to the gym as well. So we we uh, we actually finished the uh, the drill and rang the bell. And um, you know, Coach Trollock gave me a little workout too. In your own words, how would you describe your game? I would say I'm a pretty good shooter. Um, I can jump just a little bit. And uh, I'm pretty much of a lead on the court and off the court, too. How do you think your game has grown over the past two years at Arizona specifically? I would probably say me being comfortable with the ball. Uh, passing, you know, has improved a lot. And um, this is just reading and making plays uh, for my teammates. I know you FaceTime with Tyrese Halliburton last night. How excited are you to play alongside a guy who loves to pass the ball like him? I'm really excited. You know, I'm really excited to play with him. Like you said, he really likes to pass the ball. And, uh, you know, me, me being a, a good shooter, um, he, he will be able to find me, you know, when I'm open and uh, just being able to connect with me right away. We've also built a nice group of Canadians here in Indiana with you and now Andrew and also O'Shea Brissett. Right. How excited is that? Is that for you? And how much pride do you take in representing Canada at the next level? It is great. You know, having a lot of players, um, three three Canadians playing for the Pacers, um, it's a great thing. You know, it shows that Canadians uh, have great players as well, and uh, also represent the country. And I know there's been a lot of attention with Canada on everyone that Toronto has produced, but Montreal specifically. How exciting is that for you to to represent Montreal? It's it's good for me to represent Montreal because. Uh, you know, not, not a lot of players are in the NBA right now. And we have a lot of talent in Montreal. And, uh, you know, we have a couple of players who have the chance next year and the following years to play in the NBA. So me being the next one is, is a great thing. I think I read that you grew up playing ice hockey. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. What was that experience like? And when was it that you made the decision to switch to basketball full time? So I actually played hockey and football as well. And uh, hockey was one of my favorite sports because I love, I love skating. And... Um, I was pretty good as well, you know, being a defender. I was tall already and kind of strong. So it was, I was really dominant into that sport. And, uh, you know, most of my friends also um, grew up playing basketball. So it was, it was a no-brainer for me just to, to stick with basketball and, uh, yeah. When you're 16, you make the decision to go to Mexico to the NBA Global Academy. How did that experience help shape who you are today? It, I mean, it, re it really helped me. Um, going to Mexico, like you said, um, by myself, English was not really good, uh, Spanish was not good at all. And, you know, me learning, experiencing new things by myself really helped me and uh, growing really fast and uh, also living by myself. How much did you just reflect last night over your entire journey up to now and getting to this point? I would say um, it's, it's crazy. You know, I grew up in a rough neighborhood uh, sometimes. Uh, coming back from practice, not not having food, and uh, you know now I have the opportunity to take care of my family, and uh, it's 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 really a great thing, and uh, you know that's that's the stage I, I wanted to be at, but you know there's a lot of more there's a lot more things I want to achieve now. Talk about more things you want to achieve. Have you given any thought to how it'll feel when you take the floor as a pacer for the first time? For sure, you know um, having being lucky to have my number zero on uh, my name 
and uh, just I mean on the back of my jersey will, will be a great thing uh, to be honest. So I'm I'm really excited just to be you know playing my first time in Indiana and um, playing in front of a full stadium.